All right, good evening, everyone. I am Lefto Jin, and I thought we would pick back up with the CK3 uh, stream that we were doing. Uh, you can see here that uh, we started as the Count of Greasons over here. No idea if that's how you pronounce that, by the way. Uh, we swooped down here and took over the entire Duchy of Savoy, so we are now the Duke of Savoy. We belong, oddly enough, to the Kingdom of West Francia over here. Uh, recently we had a holy war uh, to liberate the Kingdom of Aquitaine from uh, the Sultan over here of the Umayyad, possibly. Um, and that went very, very well for the Pope uh, on my say-so, which got me a pile of prestige, as you can see here. We've got a decent amount of cash. We've got very few troops because we got almost wiped out during that war. Um, and the entire end goal here, eventually, is to rebuild Rome. Now, the only there's only really two ways of doing that. Um, you can be part of the Byzantine Empire and then rule the Byzantine Empire. Um, and from there, if you meet certain criteria, you can just reform Rome. Um, or you can form the Holy Roman Empire from the 8... What is it? 862 start. Um, and then take over the Byzantine Empire, and then you can form Rome. So that's that's kind of my end game, is I want to rebuild Rome. That's all I want to do. You know, just take over all, all of this. You know, there's, there's a whole... It's like, you know, quarter of the map-ish. <laughs> Uh, we currently hold six counties, which is our max setting here. Um, we are playing the grandson, great-grandson of our original ruler. Uh, let's see. Family tree. Where is my family tree? Yes. There we go. So you got the duke here. Ah. Currently playing the son. Right. Because I was playing as him and he died. No, okay, yes. I'm 67 years old. Um, I have 15 living members, which is not too bad. Uh, my renown is going up by 1.62 a month, which is not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Um, you can see here I've been going through a lot of stress lately, so I've become reclusive. And my current heir is our son, Pio, over here, who... Um, well, he's not spectacular. He's okay. He's not He's not great. Uh, we report directly to the King of France. Uh, and the King of France at the moment... Ah, King Louis III. I'm sure that's fine. Right, so... Let's unpause here. Let's see where we've been. Uh, I can declare a few wars, which is kind of nice. I can declare war on East Francia. Because, well, actually, how bad is East Frankie these days? And what's your claim, lady? Your claim is the county of Ostfriesland, which is, ah, right up here. Now... How bad off is East Francia? They have about the same military strength as we do. Um, and of course she would become my vassal and I would gain control of that harbor. Which isn't bad. How, how are you as a territory? Can I check? No. How are you? Development of 12. Countess isn't great. East Francia has about the same strength we do. I might do that shortly. Just for fun. Uh, I can also declare war on Lethringia, which is just a bad idea. You can see that they've been swallowing people left and right. Uh, and the Duke of Provence, which I believe... Do we currently have... We had a treaty with you. Do I have... Or a, a ceasefire... No. All right. Well, I can just declare war in Provence then, because that's a better idea. <sighs> you do have 4,000 men because you hired 1,500 mercenaries at some point. So let's wait for them to retire. 
possibly hire them ourselves, and then go piss off this guy. In the meantime, I think what I might do... Um, do I have a... My cat is freaking out. I currently have a decent physician. Come here, you. You're okay. So I don't need another. What I might do is go on a quick pilgrimage. Get my stress level lowered. Even though... Oh, they moved it. Moved it with the most recent update. So my stress is currently 78, and it'll break at 100. Um, and I could extort my subjects, which is probably not a good idea. Uh, let's see. I mean, I don't need the money that bad. Let's go on a pilgrimage. It'll cost me at least 100. That's okay with me. Let's do that. Um... The Vatican is not far. Cologne is not far. What else do we have? Santiago, Canterbury. Canterbury sounds nice. Yeah, let's go to Canterbury. It'll cost me 100. Let's go there. Sliver Dad, how you doing tonight? This is what I want. And then I want to reform Rome after that. Just you wait. I'm missing most places. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Uh, I need East Francia for this. Interesting. And then three other kingdoms. Realm size of 140. Hmm. It's good to know. My cat is blocking my vision of my screen. I'm sure it's fine. Okay, what else is on the current issues? Um, I'm in line to inherit the Duchy of Aquitaine. Am I really? Why is that? Huh. There's some options. Um, hmm. And this vassal expects a council position, but that vassal is garbage, so they won't be getting one. Um, okay. You're helping me with intrigue. What else could you help me with? Intrigue is fine. Just refreshing myself here. All right, well, let's on pause. There we go. Time to depart. And it seems they may have adjusted the volume levels since I last played when they did the update. So let me just make sure here. That sounds a little bit better. And it looks like I'm not pegging... Yeah, I'm not pegging the audio output anymore. That's nice. Okay. If you guys have any trouble hearing, let me know. Uh, what are you currently doing? You're making people think I'm religious. Let's pretend I am, shall we? Uh, I have some onagers, I have two sets of bowmen, I have some armored footmen, and I have some light footmen. All of which are currently rebuilding. Yeah, well, that's not terrible. Okay. As my party passes through a small town, I notice a throng of people filling the market square. At the center, a man stands on an overturned fish cart, shouting wildly at all who will listen. The day of judgment is nigh. Repent. Repent, I say, or you shall be damned for all eternity. I mean, he's like 1,100 years off. It's fine. Uh, the worried-looking townsfolk nervously whisper to each other, fearful of the doomsayer's words. Um... I can gain a hundred piety by casting him down, or I can lose some quick stress. Do I need the piety? I do not need the piety. So, let's lose the stress. Stress is a surefire way to get yourself killed. Especially as I am 67, which is ancient for this game. Speed up time a little bit. 
I'm finally here, body and soul, at the great church of Canterbury, as the bishop offers me blessings that reflect on everything that had happened for God to bring me here at this moment in time. I gained a bunch of piety, and uh, I'm a determined pilgrim for the next ten years, which is kind of nice. Yeah. And shortly I'll return home. I lost a bit of stress. I gained a bit of uh, piety. That's fine. It's good to be home. And I might hold a feast shortly just to lower my stress even further. But I have a feeling that uh, I'll be dead before long anyway. Now, you've come of age. You're officially 16. You're not engaged. You're also kind of garbage, but you got a great education. Well, a semi-good education, anyway. Three-star fortune builder. Uh, you're impatient and fickle and greedy. I wouldn't mind you controlling one of my counties, to be honest. Uh, let's get you an alliance marriage. County of Mantua. Where is Mantua? Ah. Right there, you have 2,000 troops. Will you take it matrilineally? You will not, by a long shot. Oh, of course not, because you're an heir. Um, just go back here. What will people do matrilineally? Uh, the Grand City, 700 troops, not great. 100 troops, even worse. And you are a heretic, which is not good. Well, you're stupid. That's even worse. Um, how about you? You got 700 men. It'd be my children. You're Dutch. Where are you located? Oh, of course. Ostfriesland. Um... Hmm, decisions. Because if I get her married to him, then I can't really push my uh, my courtier's claim and take this over because that would be a, a completely ruined marriage. Um, and a wasteful one at that. So let's, let's try someone else. Yeah, sadistic, greedy, and vengeful. I mean, you just sound delightful. You have 18 stewardship, and because it's matrilineal, I believe you'll actually be sent to my house. Yes, let's have you. Excellent. And he is now my courtier, which means, if I give it a moment, yep, he is now my knight. With a prowess of 17, he's an excellent knight. He's only got a marshal of 10, which is fine. But a stewardship is 18 means that I might be able to fire this guy. Which I kind of like the idea of. Um, yeah, matter of fact. Let's assign you. There we go. You can collect taxes for me. That's fine. Everything else is good. My culture is all unanimous throughout the board. All fun. Alright. Now, my troops are rebuilding. Provence still has mercenaries, unfortunately. Who are you Who are you at war with? Are you at war with anybody? You are not. Why do you have so many mercenaries? Silly man. Now, can I murder you? I can't. Hmm, it's a shame. Uh, what can I do with you? I can get him excommunicated, which would allow me to do a holy war, which might get me some more... Uh, the Pope wouldn't, ac wouldn't accept it anyway, but it would get me some more um, allies in the war. Hmm, oh well. Let's get you married to someone for an alliance. And actually, that would work fine. 
You're cynical and honest and humble. These are all conflicting traits. And you're still rowdy, which is a childhood trait. But this will get me another alliance with someone who has 2,000 troops, which I quite enjoy. My troops are only of decent quality. Ah, right. Because some of my fighters are absolutely garbage. That makes sense. Um, I've still got a pile of money. So honestly, I might as well... Hmm. Let's add another regiment of light footmen. Yeah, I like that idea. Gets me some more troops, some basic hitters, as long as they're not... As long as they're not in flatlands, they're generally actually very, very good because they get defensive bonuses from virtually everything. Oh, good God. Wow. Uh, well. She, she has smallpox. I have no idea who this is. My court physician holds me back. The diseased body of a commoner, skin marred by rashes and bumps, rest upon the table. Anyone who comes into contact with the corpse... Oh, she's dead, of course. Risks infection, and as and and I was planning an outing that will take me close to Langres, the count holding of Count Brangs of Langres. Okay, but he's not. He's a flagellant, dirty bastard. Um, but he's not contagious. Ah. Okay. So I could, uh... I could get his court sick. Which is interesting. He's also gay. Is his wife? His wife's straight. Huh. Um... I can... Possibly get one of my courtiers of the disease and get plus two learning for studying corpses. Which... I mean, I could use the learning. Uh, or I could just bury her. Where are you? Boop. Boop. You know... I'm kind of okay with him being mad at me. I hope he dies. So I just spread up plague of smallpox to uh, long grease <clears throat> for reasons right uh, livestock an additional payment in a recent trade I find myself in possession of a large herd of cattle I've been assured that the animals are of highest quality but the question of what should be done with them remains sent her away exactly um, I can send it to Greason which is my my home county uh, and get 10% development which is nice um, a stewardship challenge to get a large cattle herd, which gets 20%, 20% of failure, of course. Um, or I can make 50 bucks off the hides. Let's try for the large herd. Hey, all right, 15 years. Greason now has a large cattle herd. And the development should be skyrocketing at this point. <laughs> um well I uh I I may have given his bishop smallpox. <laughs> Oops. Uh I'm I'm sure it's fine. Uh okay, I need some county control in Canavese. I've almost got my maximum quality troops. The the uh, or the maximum number. The quality's not great. And Austria has kidnapped my sister. That's that's a thing. Now, Provence, do you still have those troops? You do. Damn, dude, how long are you gonna have those troops? In the meantime, why don't I? Can't invite knights right now. Um, 
I don't want to hold a feast because I could use the cash. What's new here? Ah, I can ask my head of faith for gold. 250 piety for 100 bucks? I'll, I'll do that. Thank you very much. Well, that was easy. Okay, so... Who are you allied with? Verona. And you're not good either. Can I... Can I plot to take you over? Eh. The petty king of Geralt is now Fruli. Uh, I, I don't think I'll be joining him because I'm surrounded by Catholics. Uh, I would like you to fabricate a claim on Grunigan. Because if they aren't... I just got 90 bucks. Because this guy's such a good steward. Fantastic. Um, if they don't get more allies, I should be able to just march in there and take it. Uh, okay. A stewardship lifestyle perk. I can get centralization, which development growth in my capital is uh, a, a must at this point because my capital is slipping behind the times. Uh, detailed ledgers. Um... I don't know many republics, so I don't care about that. My men at arms maintenance per dread minus 50%. Do I have any dread? I have 20 dread. So point f okay, 0.5% per dread. So that would be 2% cheaper. That's not bad. Monthly income per stress level plus 10%. That just sounds dangerous. So Let's go for centralized. Increase my main holding for development, at least. Alright. What else is new? Oh, demand payment. Right. Because I have a hook on you. It's one of the things I was, uh, I was doing before, is developing strong hooks on people, and then just uh, demanding money for those hooks. It's what kept this kingdom going, to be honest. Okay, so she's paid me an extra 50, and because of that, I believe I will hold a feast. 100 bucks, no worries. Alright, the feast begins. The guests are gathered in the Great Hall, lords and ladies from near and far. Uh, the near and far reaches of the realm. The mood is bright, the spirits are high, and the feast begins. Ah. Don't have any stress, but what the hell. Uh, as the feast is underway and our guests are eating and drinking merrily, uh, Kanagundis approaches Gerberge and me at the great table. This is a marvelous feast. All my compliments to the hopes. Uh, I can gain 150 prestige, which isn't bad. Or I could give it to Gerberge, which gets me a direct vassal opinion of 5 and courtier and guest opinion of 10. And then she likes me as well. I think I like that a bit better, to be honest, because I don't really need 150 prestige right now. I've got three and a half thousand. Uh, ooh, she doesn't look good. She's hideous, and she's a leper. And she's at my feast. <laughs> I'm sure that's fine. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, it's my sister. That poor girl. Uh, the pleading gaze I receive from my sister Maria is taking on a desperate tone. A group of guests are approaching the corner she has hid in all evening, and the walls are hindering her escape. The poor woman has never been good with people. I can't imagine why. This is referencing the fact that she's shy, but she's also a leper. She's literally falling apart. And she's hideous. At least she's humble about it. <laughs> I can distract my guests, which gains uh, opinion from her... Which would at least put her in the positive. Uh, I can make her tell a story, which causes stress because I am also shy. Um, or I could spend 150 prestige, grow a friendship with Maria, uh, and a weak hook. I think I'll do that, because I can extort her for 50 bucks. Can I extort you right away? I can. Give me your money. 
I did you a favor that one time at my party just now. There we go. Uh, as my guests depart, with everyone headed in their respective homes, I am proud to say the feast was a success. I, I have my wife, Gerberge, to thank for much of its success, and I feel nothing but gratitude as she sees the last few guests off. I gain 150 prestige, and every guest gains 20 opinion of me for 10 years. I won't live that long. All good. Fantastic. Oh yes, I have a I have a complicated family history. King Louis the Third has declared war on King Charles the Fourth, who is the king of Aquitaine. So that he wants Aquitaine back because he couldn't hold it before, and Umiad took it from him, and then we had a massive war to take it back because Pope. <sighs> Good times. Good times had by all. Do you still have your mercenaries? You do. I'm gonna pin you. There we go. Incidentally, that is something that most people never actually figure out that you can do. You can actually pin any character. Like, if this guy is the primary heir. I can pin him and keep track of him. And then I can unpin him at any time. I'd like to keep track of this duke, because now I can click on him from anywhere, check his military strength without having to shuffle around. Very handy. Um... Okay, very little movement in the borders just now. Apparently my liege has been attacked by somebody in prison. Yeah, well, I mean, that's that's the King of France's concern, isn't it? Not really mine. What is Powis doing all the way down here? <laughs> this map is concerning. Uh, so Powis is a kingdom that... Uh, it's in present-day Wales, um, and it was a kingdom back in the 800s. Uh, I don't know what the hell they're doing in Aquitaine, <laughs> but there you are. <laughs> um, so you're a petty king in the middle of Aquitaine. Can I declare war on you? No. Interesting. Duke Bernard of Provence wants to be allied. What do you bring to the table? 5,000 men. Only 1,500 of them are mercenaries. You know what? Yeah, no, I'll, I'll be your ally. That's, that's cool. I can do that. And... How do you still have all of these? Oh, it's your allies. So you still have mercenaries, and then you have allies. Interesting. But it is inferior to mine because I have a pile of allies that they don't have. And my last daughter has come of age. She is an intricate web, web, web weaver, three level skill. That's not bad. She's cynical, she's humble, she's honest, which goes against the uh, the whole pres or, uh, intrigue thing, but yeah. For a plus six intrigue education, she only has three. It didn't go well. Uh, mostly because she's honest. That's a shame. The forging of a claim on this county is going ahead. Uh, I can demand payment from this here nun because I have a permanent hook on her. She's only got 15 bucks, but she also doesn't make any money, so I will take her 15 bucks because I'm greedy. And that's just, that's what I do. I've now got low control in four counties. Really? Why is that? Oh, and my liege just passed limited ground authority. That's interesting. So... Como? Ah, uh, Savoy? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, fair enough. That's fine. It'll go up eventually. To help it along... Let's see. Buildings are super handy. Uh, fort level plus two and a garrison of 250 in Como. That's nice. Who inherits Como? Pio does. So I'll hold on to that for my next turn. So I might as well actually get that. Quarries, no. Ferrix, no. Military camps is nice. Archer damage and skirmisher damage. Um. Hmm. 
But no, I think I'll take hill forts. There we go. Reason, how you doing? We've got pastures, barracks, tents. I can't do the duchy building because I do not actually own the duchy of Caritia here. And I would have to go to war with Lethringia in order to get that. How does your heir look to play? My heir at the moment is Pio here. Uh, he's going to be a high intrigue. Well, mid-level intrigue character. Uh, with his wife's assistance, I might be able to make a pretty good run out of him between stewardship and intrigue. And uh, just do the create a hook and... Uh, yeah create a hook and then demand payment for it kind of routine in order to supply my kingdom with money. Now, you're a, you're helping the king, which is super nice of you and all, but hey, increased count increased control in the county. That's nice. Um oh, and I died. Uh, Duke Girolamo of Savoy has passed on at 69 years of age. Nice. He died of unknown causes. An old man, he lived a long, fulfilled life. Um, was probably poisoned by his various enemies, to be honest. I, I made dozens. Duke Pio ascends to the throne. Loyal in his, to his spouse and family, Pio is certain to place the good of his dynasty above all personal concerns. Um, yeah, died of old age. Honestly, I'd, I'd buy that. 69 years old in the year 936. Makes sense. Um, he was dreaded. Interesting. I am now the cultural head, which is very handy, as I can actually determine what we are going to study, which is kind of nice. Currently, we're studying city planning so that I can actually increase the size of, uh, I don't have a counselor, uh, the size of my, uh, my holdings. I can build extra cities or extra castles, etc. Uh, I'll take you, you're a powerful vassal, and you have 16 in the way of diplomacy, so honestly, that's not bad at all. Uh, who do I have that's better than you? Falco. Who the fuck is Falco? There we go. Okay. And my bishop, unfortunately, I can't... You're not allowed to have a claim. Who are you? Oh, you're just a visitor. And you have a claim on... LaGuardo. Where is this? Interesting. But I would not want to tax Sardinia. Or would I? Perhaps. Okay, so we have our new person. He needs a new lifestyle. Uh, he's already learning intrigue. Super Justin, how you doing? So I've been MIA lately. Work and family life have been taking all my time, but my county no longer burning down, so I get some free time. Excellent. And yes, uh, it's nice to be able to breathe again and have the windows open every now and again. It's fantastic. Good to see you again. Um, okay, so he's already been learning intrigue, which is great, because truth is relative, means I can fabricate schemes. Um, I can fabricate hooks on individual people. Uh, digging for dirt means that I find secrets faster. Uh, my disrupt screen schemes are more effective. And my murder scheme power is 30% more, meaning that it's uh, it's quicker to get murders done, which is nice. Um, I think, let's see, do you have any children yet? You have three kids, which is one too many. I don't want you more fertile. Um, are you dreaded? You are not dreaded. So intimidation wouldn't be bad. It gets him 30 dread to begin with. Um, but I think going full intrigue is probably my best bet. So agent acceptance plus 10, intrigue plus 3. Let's do that. 
So he already has an intrigue focus, which is very nice. I can again ask my head of faith for some gold for 250 piety. I think I will, to be honest, because I could use an extra 100 gold. Uh, I am in line to inherit Savoy, Turin, Canavese, and Navarra, which is all well and good. The Pope gives me some money. Now, I do need a physician. What's my court look like? As far as learning goes. She, uh, she has 13. Not great. Um, okay, what about my vassals? All garbage. Okay, well, I'll be searching for a physician then. Important to have a good physician. Uh, most of my soldiers are now gone, unfortunately, because I did lose control of four different counties, which is all of these down here. Um, I think it should be fine. Uh, Super Justin, I'm doing decent. I've been, uh... I've been trying to keep myself afloat since unemployment turned me down, but otherwise, decent. I've been doing a lot of writing jobs lately. And a lot of drinking, <clears throat> for reasons. Um, okay, we still have... Do we still have decent knights? We actually have slightly better knights than what I had before... We're still only decent quality. Because we have a lot of levies. Why don't I... get some more bowmen? Because more bowmen is never a bad idea. Oh. My dynasty has been increased. We are now insignificant. Isn't that fancy? <laughs> Court position. Okay, so this guy, uh, he's callous and craven and arrogant, but he is a level 2 physician, and he does have a learning of only 11. <sighs> However, a level 2 physician gives me a disease boost of a medium quality. He's also a holy warrior, which means I might be able to use him for something else. She, on the other hand, is depressed. Well, I guess I'll get him. 50 bucks for you? Why not? And you were instantly made a knight because your prowess is 15. Fantastic. All good things, really. Drinking is okay. Brother and I playing Tony Hawk, and I was so much better at this in high school. <laughs> uh, I think Sliver Dad feels your pain there. Uh, I'm not endorsed by my bishop. I can fix that. Uh, sway you. Um, because not being endorsed by my bishop means that he does not pay me when he should be. Uh, what is my wife doing right now? Uh, no. No. That one. My wife is just assisting me generally. Which is getting me some decent stats. However, managing my domain is a much better idea because a plus six to stewardship yeah 15 stewardship now that's not bad all right moving right along uh can i still declare war in provence my children lack guardians. Well, let's fix that. Um, what are you learning? You're learning learning. Well, I mean, that's handy. Uh, you are already curious and fickle. Um, what could we change you to? You could also be diplomatic. Which I think is probably the better bet. So let's give you that. And let's get you somebody who is a good diplomat. Uh, she's not a good educated diplomat. He's a warrior. You're a fortune builder. Do I have no good diplomats? I have no diplomats at all. He's a fornicator. 
Uh, you're astute. Also, you're only level 5 as far as learning goes. Well, I guess my sister is going to uh, be teaching my kid. That's fine. Uh, designated guardian for you, who is my heir. You are learning martial, which is great. Uh, let's get martial skill. You are a level 4 coward. How about you? You're a level 4 and you're just... And you're an open terrain expert. Well, congratulations. You get to teach my heir. Um, okay. Excellent. Moving right along. They're educating my children. You. Can I still declare war on you? I cannot, because that was not my claim. Um, I can actually declare war on nobody, which is a shame. How about you fix Como instead? Because you, you have a tr control of 21 and I'm not controlling you directly anymore. It's not as bad and it's not as much of a problem for me. Okay. Faction's been created against my king. Uh... Oh, Astaru populists. Um, that's the Norse religion. Speaking of religion, yeah, I guess there are some Astaru, As Asatru, Asatru, uh, in France. Of course, all of it's based around Sweden and Norway here, and then you do have Jorvik, uh, I believe they're still around. Yep, Jorvik is still around up here. Um, and they are main centers for that religion, so it is what it is. I don't need you pinned anymore because I can't kill you. Um, okay, rebuilding after getting a new ruler is always interesting. If I, let's see, I have no stress, I'm chaste, which amazes me that you had three kids already, uh, I'm fickle and I'm arrogant. I mean, could be worse does mean my piety will be coming in nice and fast, and it is. I'm getting three prestige a month, which is fantastic. I'm getting some money coming in, but I am also currently building my levies. No. I finished building my levies. Interesting. I have low control in Como, though, and that increases... Yeah, as that increases, you actually get more uh, taxes from the county as well. So, I'll get that done. Uh, that should improve my troop count... And then I should be able to invade you. Because you are nice and weak. You have claims on everything, but you are totally weak. Excellent. Carry on. My culture has discovered moats. What's that get me? Uh, unlocks tribal era fortification buildings. That's handy. Probably learn Cassus Belli after I learn city planning. Cassus Belli would allow me uh, to claim du jour titles. Like if I was the Duke of this duchy here, I could actually invade the rest of these territories without having to plot and scheme and kill people. Uh, what happened here? Kingdom of Angoulême. Huh. I'm I'm guessing my my king's war. Yeah, claim the kingdom of Aquitaine. Aquitaine is only three counties now. Well, six counties. Good luck. Good luck, friends. I'm sure it's fine. Your your war just became a whole lot easier. <laughs> Um, okay, soon we will invade these guys. Um, I might actually plot to kill you. Let's see, you're already wounded, you're scaly. You've got 300 men. Can I just, can I just murder you? I mean, I can fabricate a hook, but if I just were to murder you, yeah. 95, 95. 
And then... I'd have to kill your kid. But that's okay. And, you know, reasons. So let's check out my schemes here. Um, I can invite some people. Heat increase the success chance and the speed, but I'm already sitting at max on both of those. So it's good to know I can actually increase it in case I'm discovered. But I would like to get my counties back. More troops, more money. All good things, really. I've got just six months left on that fabrication. I've got plenty of loot to actually afford the fabrication. Excellent. Court Chaplain's average learning skill caused a problem. Ah, he was accused of fabricating a claim. I mean... Yeah, no, that, that makes sense. Okay, now then. Yeah, once you increase... Oh, my, gut, my duchess is now uh, architectural expertise. Nice. So her stewardship goes up, which means my stewardship goes up. Excellent. I'm now a steward. And I swayed my bishop, so now I get more income. Okay. The scandal. My cousin, Mayor Agostina, has been showing the signs of pregnancy for some time now, and everyone thought that her husband, Mayor Bernard, was the father of the child. Now it's become clear that the real father-to-be is none other than Count Martino. Not even part of my duchy. You slut. Um, she's an adulterer, she's pregnant, she's reclusive, and she's irritable. I mean, with all those skills, so would I. Uh, she also likes to drink. Man, what a life she's led. Uh, but now everyone knows, unfortunately, she is part of my family, so that is going to look badly on me. But not to anybody with immediate effect. And, yeah. Yeah, her husband had st sent her in prison. <laughs> Which is fair. Okay, 87 bucks for the claim on this single territory up here. I'll take that. And honestly, since you only have 400 men and your ally only has a thousand or, or 600, rather, I'm going to take you right away to press my claims at 125 prestige. Take it. And just raise all of my armies right there. Drop the speed down a little bit. Okay. Let's just just march on in. I'm sure it's fine. Got plenty of supplies. Still decent quality. I need to increase my uh, my men at arms in order to have better quality troops there, but that's okay. This should be a simple one run and done, jump in, kill them all, call it a day. Oh, 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 missed him. <laughs> okay, the walls are currently intact. We do have onagers. Uh, their supplies are running low, which is kind of nice. What's going on here? I can call on allies, but I really don't need to. Okay. Okay. Papal envoy has reached my court, bringing news of the Vatican. Pope Urbanus issued a call of arms to all righteous Christian rulers. As a Catholic duke, I am expected to prepare my men in support of this most holy cause, sponsored by the Universal Church itself. To all those who take the fight against the vile infidels desecrating the holy grounds of Jerusalem. We did this once, about 20 years ago in the game's timeline. Uh, that was a terrible idea, and we were slaughtered. To, to a man, every single Catholic ruler was just decimated. Um, now that being said, I, I will join the fight. And I will declare a beneficiary of 
let's make let's see which are you you're matrilineal married aren't you i think you are yes because you're at my court so you can be my beneficiary because if your kids get some territory, that would not be a bad thing. Beneficiary, by the way, if uh, if I get some rewards from the Pope, uh, they get those rewards as well. If you're married and your half-bro is coming in on your wife, it's okay to poison him, right? I don't see why not. <laughs> Keep in mind that I am planning on murdering an infant soon, but you know. Uh, I can donate some gold in exchange for piety, but I'm in my own war at the moment, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, how goes the fight? Uh, their supplies are running low. Otherwise... Oh, and sickness is spreading. Ah, excellent. A meal to die for. Uh, my agents... He might be my marshal. Uh, my agents have prepared for weeks. The cook has been bribed to look, to, to look the other way. The poison has been acquired. And the duck was gifted to Count Dirk alone. It will be rubbed with the poison. And the bed of herbs will mask the smell as it is served. The deadly bitterness will be the last thing my target ever tastes. Oh, Dirk. Matter of fact, Sliver Dad, this is the guy that you recommended the name for. He's scaly. Named Dirk. Ah, 95% chance of success, 95% chance that we will not be spotted. Bon appetit. The bird became the last thing Dirk ever ate. It also seems that none of my agents are under suspicion, which means no one can trace the poison back to me. It must have been something he ate. Okay, that makes you my next powerful vassal. Now, if I were to just coincidentally murder you yes he was my marshal which is okay I, I, I would rather have the territory uh, Falco welcome back and once I murder his son I can just you know take his shit uh, I can modify his contract in order for him to pay me more using the hook that I have on him. And I will. Okay, now let's check out my scheme. And yes. Um, I can invite him, and I can invite him. Uh, what would it cost to bribe you? 55 gold and you're in. I'll take it. Excellent. Now he's in on it. And that brings my scheme up to 95-95. That kid will be dead in uh, 11 months. Probably. Also poison her because fuck trifling fuckers. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Ooh, rampant disease within the walls. No supplies. Excellent. Uh, ooh. My sister can now get married to the Count of Mantua. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and do that. Excellent. Wait a tick. Am I not in line to inherit Canavese anymore? What happened? No, next in line is my son. My son can inherit it, that's fine. Because I will be playing as my son shortly. Oh wait, no, I'm Duke Pio. Why didn't it? Never mind. Uh... Hey, my counselor actually did something good. Made people see me in a new light. That's nice. Uh... Let's have you focus on domestic affairs instead of foreign affairs. The walls are still intact. Interesting. They're having desertion problems. My glory is now widely known, which means I am now distinguished, so I can declare... Not quite 
duck duchy titles. So your prestige level determines uh, the size of the war you can declare. If you're exalted among men, you can actually take entire kingdoms in one war. Um, but I am not. I think that has no effect on me at the moment. Ah, I got a new intrigue perk, though. And that does affect me. I can uh, do a, the abduction scheme, which is super handy. Um, my hostile scheme success chance... Uh, for or enemies hostile scheme success chance drops by 25 uh, and against my courtiers by 10 or my own hostile scheme success chance plus 25 I kind of like that better it seems I'll be killing a few people oh looks like yep we back we punctured the walls now I could assault the fort but with a small breach I think it's fine if we just starve them out for the next three months, honestly. Uh, King Louis of West Francia would like for my son and heir to be raised by a carling. Uh, he's not becoming French, no. Fuck you, King. He's not French. French is not my culture. You do not get to be my kid into your court. Ooh, we now have... We've pretty much torn the walls down. Fantastic. They have rampant disease. They have very low supply. My army is fresh as a daisy. Uh, unfortunately, my uh, my marshal might have died suddenly from eating poison duck. No idea how, how that happened. Um, but yeah, I think with 51 days left, we should be just fine. Because I don't think these guys dare attack me. Possible. Come on. 16 days left. This should be the only territory I need to take. There it is. 100%. Enforce demands. Give me your territory. Excellent. Gain 20 fame. Um, and I now own this county. Right, men. Off you go. Excellent. Fantastic. A very quick and uh, handy war. I got 33 bucks just for occupying. All good things. And now I own a territory that I need to further my goals. Ah, such good things. Now, I would like for you to fabricate a claim. And I would like you to fabricate a claim. Ooh. I can I can actually do this rather well in some places. Um how many troops do you have? Usually you have 600. Yeah, why don't you fabricate a claim? on uh, Cuneo here. Excellent. Take you 19 months to do so, because it's very, very fast when you actually have part of the territory already. Excellent. Savoy shall be enlarged. And my murder scheme is still progressing to kill an infant. <clears throat> I feel bad about that. I do, a little bit. I have just enough troops that, wow, my steward just got me 90 gold. Good job, steward. Uh, I have just enough troops that I'm still making a decent income. Uh, my control is still going up in Como, so yeah, my taxes are going up as well. All good things. And Como almost has the small hill fort built. What buildings do you have, by the way? You have crop fields for plus 0.5 gold a, a month, uh, Hunter's Lodge for 0.2 and Defender Advantage of 2, and Light Cavalry Damage, which is nice. I don't have any cavalry right now, but that's okay. Uh, and your fort level plus 1 as well. No wonder that took so long to take this place. Now, I will have my steward promote my culture in Grunigan. 
because I would rather they have my culture than theirs. I'm sure it'll be fine. Matter of fact, I don't think... Yeah, there's no way it can actually go badly. Take them four years to do it, but I have nothing but time. Increase the speed. All set. Unhealthy relations. The malady is contagious. Be wary. Oh, this again. Uh, well, I can poison King Louis, <laughs> which is probably not not nice. <laughs> um, how bad is it? It's smallpox again. I keep finding people with smallpox. That's probably not good. I do have fairly low piety at 168. I think I will give him just a decent burial. Um, because the learning plus two isn't really valuable for me, and it causes me stress. So yeah, just bury him. Ooh. You know, he's only three. <laughs> I do feel bad. Uh, Alberto Azo is preparing a special trip for young Count Teobaldo. Uh, the child trusts trust he will be brought to an enjoyable day in the forest. God, that's tragic as hell. <laughs> Teobaldo will unfortunately get lost and be impossible to find before nightfall. Oh, he was so young, too. A child lost in the forest. It happens tragically often. Ah, a mangled corpse. Count Teobaldo is dead. The search went long into the night before it was called off and reconvened at dawn. It was only then that the body was found, bloodied, mangled, and torn after an attack by some vicious, hungry beast. At least, I hope it was a beast's doing. Thankfully, everyone agrees it's a terrible tragedy, and my involvement and the existence of any scheme remains unknown. Okay, that did give me 40 stress. Um, because A, I killed a family member, and B... Uh, what is the... It might have just because I've killed, a, I've killed a family member. Interesting. So I killed a family member who's a child, and that gives me 40 stress. Which is fair, really. In a depressing kind of way. However, in, in good news, I have in, inherited this county. So, huzzah. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hell. Uh, okay. Um, now how bad, honestly, that, that county isn't terrible, and I got so many more troops off of that, fantastic, uh, my bishop now loves me, so I can stop that scheme, I don't need to sway you anymore, and who do I need to sway? I could sway my liege, I could also declare war on my liege independence which is not something I would want to do um, and I got a 50% chance to sway can I request a claim no but only just interesting um, okay so I'll just I'll try to sway my liege it'll take 16 months but that's okay I've got just a few more months on Cuneo. Fantastic. Moving right along, really. Uh, she's now a major architectural expert, so my wife is getting better and better every day. Um, and a faction was created against the king. Interesting. Against my liege, he now has an independence faction in general with a couple of counts, which is kind of a shame. If he had some dukes, I'd probably join that. Uh, some villagers want independence, and some other villagers want independence. If I created a claimant faction, is there anybody who is currently claiming the Kingdom of France who I might be able to get my family involved with? No... Now, who are you married to? And could I kill her? It's possible. Hmm. Good to know. 
Now, the thing is uh, with schemes, by the way, um, yeah, I do have secrets now. I murdered Count Dirk, and I murdered his son, Count Teobaldo. Um, these are currently floating around the world. Like, there is some proof somewhere that ties me to these problems. Um, and they can come back to haunt me in the future. Now, that being said, I'm only 32. There's a chance somebody will come across those and hold them against me. Uh, which is always bad. Always bad. Ah, the crusade for Jerusalem is now going full tilt. We do have more troops than the Sultan, however. Alright, Deus Vault. Um, you gotta remember that all of our troops are going to be arriving piecemeal. And when they arrive, it's, yeah, it's, it's all bad. It's all bad. <laughs> 